Hey guys, Jared here. I had a little mishap with my Kubota B3300 yesterday and I broke one of my curl cylinders. So there you can see the end cap is busted and I'm pretty sure the piston is bent as well. Now what I was doing and I've done several times and unfortunately didn't give much thought to it was I had walked up to a log that had been, a tree that had been fell, it had been bucked, and I went right up to a saw cut, put the forks down on the back side of the tree, and I just drug backwards. That way I could split the tree apart and easily throw the chain, log chain around it, and I could skid it out. Did this yesterday, first tree in a skidding video that you'll see shortly, trees that are uh, sold to a logging company. Went up to the very first tree, threw the forks down, drug backwards, split them apart, went to tilt the forks back up, hydraulic fluid sprayed everywhere. So I got off, went and looked, and sure enough, the cylinder looked like it was you know, partially out of the tube, end cap was cracked, and fluid everywhere. So I put the forks down on the tree and kind of pushed it down hard as I curled backwards. That way I could at least get it back up in to there so I could keep working and skid a few logs out while I researched finding a cylinder and all of that good stuff. Unfortunately, a new cylinder from Kubota is over $500. Now there are a lot of places that sell lift cylinders for little loaders like this but the cylinder for the curl function is like a 13 and a quarter inch stroke the shortest i could find is a 14 inch stroke i do not feel like drilling my mounting ears or anything like that to be able to reposition a new cylinder and if i put a longer stroke, I'm going to reduce the amount of curl back I get, which is already pretty low. You know, you're losing loads with your bucket as you're going along unless you have it lifted high. So I don't want to lose any. I'd rather have a 13 inch stroke cylinder and lose some dump than I would lose any of my curl back. So I went and got a new cylinder from Kubota. So uh, here's a cylinder or new to me anyways. It was going to be a few days to get one in, so they stole one off of an existing loader for me. That way I could get back up and running, and then they are going to order a new one to replace on that loader. Uh, so thank goodness. Once again, I can't say enough good stuff about Fackler Country Gardens and what they are willing to do and bend over backwards to make sure that you get what you need, not oversell you anything, and get you up and run as fast as they can doing anything they can necessary uh, but anyway so i just want to give that little tip guys be careful when i was researching last night i found tons of threads of people doing the same type of thing i thought maybe it was the forks and the extra stress of the super long forks that i had doing this found tons of guys who've done it with just buckets Everything from compacts and subcompact tractors up to M's, L's, but not just Kubota. I found it on skid steers, backhoes, John Deere's, you know, pretty much every manufacturer. But one thing you don't think about is when something is curled all the way down, and if you are using the tip of your bucket to back drag, your cylinder's at full extension. And if you were to hit something, it's going to try to shove a fully extended cylinder up inside and there's no pressure relief. It's your spool valve locking hydraulic fluid. There's nowhere for it to go. So it's going to bend something. And unfortunately, that cylinder is what's going to take the force of that impact. And I saw some pretty nasty cylinders on the forums last night. Almost bent in half and uh, much worse than mine. Mine I was able to get back up in the tube. But guys, just please be careful. Watch what you're doing. You should really back drag with the back of your bucket. Uh, or at least if you're doing it with the front edge of your bucket so you can see, you know, do so lightly. Make sure you're doing slow, something catches, you know, don't be hauling butt because you do want to stop. Otherwise, there's 
you know, nowhere for that force to go. So once again, thanks a bunch. Hopefully this will save somebody some money in the future and uh, let somebody else learn from my mistakes. So have a good day, guys. See you later.